Then there was trouble. The beehive valve broke open. The station cleared like magic. James heard a familiar buzzing. The bees were too cold to be crossed, so they buzzed around the fireman, hoping he'd mend their hide. But he didn't understand, nor did his driver. So the bees turned to James. His boiler was nice and warm. Buzz off! Buzz off! hissed James. One bee burned his foot. Ooh. Ooh. The bee thought James had burned him on purpose. Stung James right back on the nose. <coughs> Whistle James. He had had enough. <laughs> so had his fireman and driver. <coughs> Woo -hoo! They didn't notice till too late that they had left all their coaches behind. They tried everything to get rid of the bees. First they spun on the turntable, but to no avail. They tried washing them off. But the bees clung harder to James's warm boiler. Then they tried smoking them off by going through a long tunnel. But still, the bees wouldn't go away. It's no good, James, said his driver. We'll just have to go back to the orchard and fetch another hive. James's reply was drowned by the sound of buzzing. The baker was waiting anxiously for James. <laughs> No, no, baby. Come on. Come it. Come. No. Come here. No, ma'am. Shut the door, hon. Come here, baby. Come here. Thank you for saving my bees, he said. It's a pity it's not Christmas. Then we could call him James the red-nosed engine. Everyone laughed, even James. But instead, they decided to call James the bee's <laughs> knees, which means they thought he was more useful than ever. I know, hon. Get out of there, hon. I'm doing... This is going to go on YouTube. Uh -huh. 